The Edge Transport Server role, reintroduced with Exchange 2013 SP1, helps minimize the attack surface of an exchange infrastructure by routing all internet-facing email and helping to protect against viruses and spam. In this guide, you'll see how to install and configure the Exchange 2013 SP1 Edge Transport Server role to better protect your exchange organization. To navigate this guide, either click the prompts indicated on the screen or use your forward and back arrow keys. You can also access the control bar at the bottom of the screen for additional options. This guide is, this guide is composed of three exercises. In this first exercise, you'll see how to complete several prerequisites before installing the Edge Transport Server role. Let's begin on the server where you'll install the Edge Transport role. By design, an Edge server is not joined to the domain. Therefore, one of the prerequisites for installing the Edge Transport Server role is to add Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services, ADLDS, to this machine to provide it with the necessary directory services. From the Server Manager dashboard on the Con Edge server, click Add Roles and Features, and then follow the on screen prompts to complete the wizard. Ensure that role-based or feature-based installation is selected before proceeding. Ensure that the correct server is selected. For the purposes of this guide, the server is named ConEdge. Next, select the role you want to install. ADLDS can't be installed without adding a few other features. Follow the prompts to continue. Click Install to complete the process. Next, you'll see how to configure the ADLDS role by going through the setup wizard. In this example, you'll use the default setup option so that a unique instance of ADLDS is created. Enter a name for this instance. Verify that the LDAP port number is correct. Next, determine if you want to create an application directory partition for this instance of ADLDS. For the purposes of this guide, use the default option and do not create a partition. Specify the data file location and then follow the prompts to continue the configuration. Next, assign the user or group that will have administrative permissions for this ADLDS instance. To configure the ADLDS service in a specific way, you can import one or more of the lightweight directory interchange format, LDIF files listed. For the purposes of this guide, simply click Next. Finally, Review and confirm your selections to install ADLDS with your configuration. The ADLDS installation is now complete. Since the Edge server is not joined to the Active Directory forest where the Exchange server is hosted, you must configure the DNS suffix so that traffic can be routed correctly. Navigate to Control Panel and then follow the prompts to change the system properties of the server. In this example, Contoso is the organization, and you'll enter contoso.com as the primary DNS suffix for the Edge server. Before completing the final prerequisite, you must restart the server.
Let's switch to the domain controller for Contoso.com. Your next task is to create the correct host record in DNS Manager to route traffic to the Edge Transport server. Follow the prompts to open DNS Manager. Next, navigate the directory tree to the Contoso.com folder. On the right-click menu, click New Host. Enter the name and IP address for the Edge Transport server. Finally, click Add Host to create. This exercise is now complete. In the next exercise, you'll see how to install the Edge Transport server role. Return to the ConEdge server. You'll begin by navigating to your Exchange 2013 installation media and running the setup program. Follow the prompts to continue. It's not necessary to check for updates right now. Once the files are copied and set up as initialized, accept the terms of the license agreement. Because you'll be manually configuring the settings, select Don't Use Recommended Settings. Finally, follow the prompts to install the Edge Transport role on this server. The Edge Transport role setup is finished. To complete the installation, you'll need to reboot the server. Click Finish and proceed to the next exercise. In the third and final exercise, you'll see how to create an Edge subscription. Let's continue working on the server where you installed the Edge Transport role. Edge subscriptions are used to populate the ADLDS instance on the Edge Transport server with only the basic Active Directory data necessary for the server role. Although optional, subscribing an Edge Transport server to the Exchange organization provides a simpler management experience and enhances anti-spam features. On the Edge Transport server, navigate to the Exchange Management shell to begin creating the subscription. Search for Exchange Management Shell. In the Exchange Management Shell, you'll enter a command to generate the Edge subscription file, which can be imported into your Exchange server to enable the Edge subscription. To continue, follow the prompts on the screen. Next, navigate to the file that was created. Next, you'll copy the file to the Exchange server for the Contoso domain. Paste the file. Let's switch to the Exchange server. Now that the Edge subscription file has been generated, you can import it. On the Exchange server, Open the Exchange Management shell. The first command you'll enter imports the Edge subscription.
The next command tests the edge synchronization. As you can see, the sync status is normal, meaning that the edge subscription was successfully established. This exercise is now complete. In this guide, you saw how to install and configure the Exchange 2013 SP1 Edge Transport Server role to better protect your Exchange organization. Thank you for completing this guide. For more information, contact your Microsoft representative or check out these additional resources.